Well, 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 what do we got here? I picked up this Kohler 6.5 on uh, Marketplace and uh, I'm going to go through it and what I want to do is upgrade the water pump or the pump motor on our pressure washer. So I bought this. Uh, near as I can tell, the uh, throttle's out of adjustment because they added on a cable. And it doesn't work right, so we'll fix that. Something wrong with the muffler there, we'll fix that. Um, these things must be prone to vibration because the guard, this goofy guard's all apart on it. So I'm going to pop it off. Wow, does it ever look like a Honda? It's crazy how close it is. Got oil alert on it. Uh, yeah. The pump, he said, was cracked and leaking water. This is a pressure washer pump. So we'll pull that off. I'm assuming it froze. We'll go through it and see where it, uh, see where it leaks from. So I'm going to pull the muffler off and uh, see what the deal is with that. Get that fixed. Up. Oh. Yeah, I thought, you know what, for the money, what if I needed a uh, pump or a motor for something, right? And I turned down one of these brand new for 200 bucks. I don't know what I should have. Anyway, let me, let me put this down so I can undo this. Well, there's the problem with the muffler. <laughs> she got a whole bloat in her. I'm gonna see if I can work some magic on that with the welder. See if we can fix all that up. Well, this is turning into be a great project. I didn't expect it to be that awesome. Um, yeah, so this will be this will be cool. See if we can fix that. I know they're pretty pricey for a new one. So let's see if Jake can work some magic. I wonder what that is. It could be stainless. You know, I'm surprised there's a lack of rust on it. It does have a spark arrestor in it. You can see that. Mm, interesting. And I'm betting you a Honda muffler will fit right on there. I'm a bit of a gambling man. Either rate, we're going to make this make this happen for sure. I'm gonna pull the uh, pull the pump off, get that out of the way, and then we'll go from there. Back in a bit. Getting the last of the uh, bolts to hold the pump to the motor. Ooh, a little stucky. There's the crack. Right there. The unloader. Yeah, I'm going to have to soak that trying to get that off. Let's see. Back. So while I'm gone, why don't you hit the uh, hit the like button on this video and let me know what you think of these callers. It's the first one I've worked on. I got like extensive, extensive, uh, which I'm gonna call it extensive experience with the uh, with the uh, Honda. Man, this thing looks like a Honda. It blows my mind. And. Uh, yeah, it's quite a strange little motor. I'll be looking further into it. I'll let, me know, let, let me know if if you've worked on any of these and what you think. Because uh, uh, you know, again, part of the homesteading thing is try to uh, try to do everything as cheap as you can and buy and used equipment like this. Well, that's part of it. I mean, obviously, I didn't do it all the time, but I do it where I can. 
So just saving this little bugger and see what we can do. Um, I'm going to try to get a couple of pry bars and see if we can't get this pump off. Stand by. All right, so the star of the repair is going to be the, uh, oh, right there, that little Lincoln SP125 we've had for eons. That baby's going to be the star of the show. We're going to try to weld this up. Um, it's 85 bucks for a new uh, Kohler muffler, which is, sorry, I'm at a loss for words today. It's not been a good day. Been a good day, but not a good day. Um, for this muffler, and I'm like, where's the 85 bucks? So you know what? Let's pretend I don't have Honda mufflers, because I do, and I'm going to try one of those later on. But let's see if I can fix this. So what I'm going to do is try and stabilize it, and then from the, at that point on, I'll make a decision whether or not take this uh, the, the cast iron exhaust manifold to the, to the muffler off and try to do a patch underneath, or if I just trigger this thing and fill it all up. So I'm going to get started on it, and uh, I'm not going to show you the video of it. I'll just stop and pause and show you little bits and pieces as we go along because I'm not set up to doing video. We haven't tried it yet, and I'm to doing video of welding, looking at the arc per se. So that'll come later on. Let me get started on this, and we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll be right back on. Well, there you go, kids. It's, uh, it's fixed. I filled it. I didn't want to plate it. I'm too lazy to undo everything, so we're going to bolt it back on and give it a try and see how it works. So stand by and we'll show you that. We're right back at the motor. Uh, with some resistance in getting the, the muffler bolts out, so I decided to throw some anti-seize on there right here. You can't see, sorry guys right there um, to see if we can prevent that I still the pump the old pump here is still tight so I don't know I'll work on that in a minute I'm gonna bolt the muffler back on show you that uh, I took the goofy cable control off of the throttle uh, this bolt nut was loose so um, yeah it wouldn't stay whatever position this is your throttle Right there's your max throttle, so whatever position that it was set at, it wouldn't stay there. So I fixed that. Uh, let's get the muffler on, see if we can get started up. Or that pump off, sorry. We'll get the pump off, then we'll see if we can start it up. Hopefully the pump comes off. Yeah, just spraying and driving, using um, pry bars. Because uh, when it's not a screwdriver, it's a pry bar. And when it's not a pry bar, it's a hammer. So yeah, we got her quite a distance. So you can see down in there, but she's got some corrosion going on in there. So that's, uh, oh, we'll keep working on it. We're almost there. We're almost ready for the start. Uh, it's hard to video this crap. And we're just basically trying not to mash up the machine face where the pump adapters or the PTO adapter goes. So we're trying to pull whatever's off, so. Yeah, that might work. We're trying anything and everything. We don't know what to try. She's close. So we're going to try maybe a pickle fork. The good old suspension pickle fork. We'll let you know how that goes. Looks pretty like it might work. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think, guys? We're going to try it. We'll try it. Give her a top. Yeah. Let's see if that works. Tap that in there. This thing's weird. It's all rounded on one side. Yeah. Not very well machined. Try that. Well, I'll be damned. Throw almost right off, Jake. Pull that pump. I'll do a I'll do a Matt laugh. <laughs> when Matt, you know who you are, Diesel Creek gets something running, and he starts laughing. Whoa! Look at the vicious floating these cranks. These are terrible motors. Look at the play in that crankshaft. 
Friends. Yeah, friends, don't buy coolers. I'm here to tell you. Okay, let me see if I can get it running. Friends don't let friends buy coolers. Friends do not let friends buy Kohler lawnmower or uh, small engines. Kohler shotguns, yes, but. All right. I wonder if that was a component of us trying to pry it off. We didn't really beat on it that hard, and we were pulling out. No, because we were separating between there and there. So the wedging, no, that wouldn't have pushed on the crank. Hold on. Yeah. Well, let's give this a start. Move over here, take the camera. I'll do the pulling. Except for me. Hmm? <laughs> this gasoline has got some uh, just some WD-40 burning some, off the exhaust. Some there. water issues, friends. Yeah, let's rework um, this exhaust. I could hear it the way it was running. We're gonna dump this piss out. Put it in the tractor. Anyway, we gotta get that gasoline out of there. Or do you want to just burn it up? Oh, I don't know. Throw it on the. We gotta get the other the pressure washer and uh, swap the motors out on it. Cause that's what the whole plan was. Was to make the pressure washer better. And we'll take a break, and we'll be right back with you guys. Yep. Get to stop. Bye. So I'm gonna put. Uh, this stuff here it was in the house when I bought it. So I'm gonna put that in here for now to do kind of a flush. So I did run it, we warmed the oil up. And we're going in this jug, whether it likes to or not. Oh, perfect, he dropped the drain plug in there. That's gonna be fun. That's gonna suck large getting that out. Oh. See, Do we have another one or? Yeah, nice and black oil, eh? She's well used. Is that the original oil? Who knows? Could be. It's not stupid dark, but it is dark. Yeah. Go show, show them a picture of that one. So that's what we're taking that little four horsepower Honda. And we're going to put this big motor on there, hopefully. Get hopefully everything lines hopefully up somewhat. Hopefully the pattern for the pump and everything in the, the everything is the issue there. Other than that, it just sits on an open platform. The gas tank should be is up higher. Everything should fit. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, so now I gotta try to get the old drain plug out of here. So we're gonna pull this pump off this motor, swap mode, and then we'll get back to you. Okay, pause. Stop. Well, motor fits on there, okay. No problems there. Um, this pump is real tired. But we're going to keep trying to use it. This is just the way it is. Jake's working on doing that. Come on, 
bolted down. Keep going on a frame because they suck at camera work. When I'm work turning rent, putting bolts in. Right there. I don't know if you guys like watching bolts being turned in. Not all that exciting, but works for some people on the interwebs. I guess what I'll do is get the equipment ready and we'll throw a quick test on her. Stand by. Not too much juice. That was it. It was spinning. That's more juice. Oh yeah. Do you feel it, eh? Yeah. Be careful, knock the paint right off the car. It's a powerful gun. Oh, there you go, boys and girls. We repowered the. Let's, let's shut this off. We repowered. <laughs> it's a little bit too much chutes now. She goes like busters now, boys yeah. and girls. There you go. 50 bucks. Pretty sweet, actually. We'll try it out. We gotta wash the tractor. We gotta do some welding work. So you saw what we did. Took the $50 motor, pulled the muffler off, fixed the muffler with some weld magic. Um, we'll get set up later. I'm gonna do some experimenting. See if we can figure out how to video the welding. And uh, yeah, that's it. There you go. Wanted to uh, to see if we could do it. So like I said, the the muff that original muffler i'm going to try a uh, honda muffler on there if that one breaks apart again but so far it's fine and uh it's doing the job it's going to work the pump sucks i'll tell you that right now it looks good but it sucks it's got a bad seal leak that developed a while after i bought the darn thing and i never got around to taking it back so we'll see how it goes we'll keep it alive we just keep pouring oil into it and it just keeps leaking it so it's a love-hate relationship with that old pump. So there you go. 50 bucks. About an hour, hour and a half worth of work. And we just increased the uh, the uh, horsepower on this pressure washer from 4.5, 4, sorry, 4.0 to 6.5. According to Kohler and Honda. So there you have it. See you soon. Take care. Bye now. More balls, eh? Got more balls. Oh, yeah like subscribe ring the bell keep the channel growing we're doing more stuff we'll get back onto the to the evan route um i got some parts for that over the weekend so we're, we're getting ready to go on that so we'll, we'll be getting getting back on that and trying to get it going um we're just waiting for some good weather great weather today we got some more, more work to do so we'll be we'll be sharing with uh with the friends and the new subscribers and hey remember if you're a new subscriber welcome to the channel if you're not a new subscriber thanks for coming back see you soon bye now